With the ZModeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the ZModeler poly menu. Locate the unweld action. With the unweld action selected, you'll see two targets, Polygroup Island and Poly. When using this action, ZBrush will look at the selected target, then unweld that surface from your model, apply creasing to the outer edges, and then apply a set of polygons to the borders to hold the shape when using with dynamic subdivision. So if I come across anywhere on this actual poly group here and simply click, you'll notice that you see a visible creasing that's established along the edges, and then unseen right now, as if you hover at the top here, you'll see a border polygon has been created all the way around the surface. So if I come over here and activate dynamic subdivision, you'll see that this area here has now held nicely with the existing sphere. So to show you these hidden border polygons, I'm going to first navigate down here to the actual polygroup tab, and I'm going to do an auto groups. And this is going to apply polygrouping to the geometry islands on the model. Now with the polygrouping reapplied, I can hover over this part of my model here, hold control and shift and click, and isolate that geometry island. So now if I rotate here, you can see these are the borders in which the unweld action is generating, and this is going to allow you to hold those edges when using dynamic subdivision. So if I just hold control shift again and bring my model back. Now this unweld action works really well when used in tangent with the actual transpose island action. So this will allow you to come through and generate these areas on your mesh using that unweld process and then come through and using the actual transpose poly action, you can come through and push these surfaces in and end up generating interesting shapes like this. Another final thing with the unweld action is if you just want to apply just a normal face unweld, let me come up here to geometry and turn off dynamic subdivision, you can go back into the Z modeler poly menu and select the Q mesh action. And with the Q mesh action selected, if you hover over a poly and click and drag, and while dragging, hold down the control key, you'll break that area of the model off. So this is another way you can do an unweld, and when you use the actual Q mesh functionality, it's not going to generate those border polygons. Now, without those border polygons actually being created, when you turn on dynamic subdivision, you'll notice that that shape has now been deformed. So using this unweld process, you can come through on areas on your model and break certain sections off to unweld them and still have them hold those edges when using dynamic subdivision.